Okay, um, question number seven. Apparently it is a question on integration, but this involves a lot of algebra. Uh, you must be really good at writing the partial fractions. So, so let's first of all write the partial fractions for this um, two over X plus one. This is two over X plus one times X plus three. You see there are two factors in the denominator and they are both linear. So there are going to be two fractions with a constants in their numerators. So we'll put that equal to A over X plus one plus B over X plus three. So this becomes, uh, this two is going to be A into X plus three. And this is plus B into X plus one. You will be putting X equal to minus three. First of all, you will get your B as this is minus two, B that is equal to two. So your B is going to be equal to minus one. And then you are going to put um, X equal to minus one here. So you have two A equal to two. So your A is equal to one. So we have got that this um, um, two over, let me write it here, right up here. So this is going to be uh, one over X plus one. And then you have minus one over X plus three. So these are the two partial fractions for this. Then it says using your answer to this um, part one here, we have to, let me just clear this up first. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now it says, um, uh, choose a good color here. Okay, now it says uh, using your answer to part one, show that all of this is going to be this. So uh, instead of this two over X plus one, let me write it here. This is two over X plus one times X plus three whole square. Okay, so we have got its value here. So let me write this as that is going to be equal to uh, instead of this two over X plus one into X plus three, I will be writing this one over X plus one minus one over, because we have written its partial fractions and he's, he's himself giving us to that using your answer to part one. So this is now your A minus B whole square. So this is your A square. Okay, we can write it like this. And then you have minus two AB. This is minus two into, when you multiply, then this becomes one over X plus one into X plus three. That is your minus two AB, okay? And then you have plus B square. That is one over X plus three whole square. This is A square minus two AB plus B square. Uh, you can see that this, um, um, this, this expression over here, this one has, is coming again over here in, in this part here, okay? So we can again change this with this one here. So this will now become, this is gonna be one over X plus one whole square and minus two into, this is, um, this is going to be same as this. So. The, I don't need this minus two right here. So instead of this, all of this, I can shift this two inside here, okay? This is minus two over X plus one into X plus three. So this is gonna be minus one over X plus one and minus into minus, this will be plus one over X plus three. And then you have plus this one, this plus one over X plus three whole square. So we have shown this, so th this was, uh, really a test of your algebra over here, okay? So uh, we have we are done with the um, part two. And then he says, hence show that all of this is this. You see, um, he's putting squares on them over here. So this, this expression is basically same as this. When you square this two, this becomes four. And then there is a square on this X plus one, and then there is a square on this X plus three. So when you define this, so I can use this working here that instead of this four over X plus one whole square into X plus three whole square, I can use this expression. So this question now becomes uh, like, you know, the integral of 
all of this, okay? And with the limits from zero to one. So I'm on to the third part now, okay? So you can, I'm just gonna tell you again that instead of this, all of this, um, you must notice that um, this expression over here is same as this expression over here. So for this, I'm gonna write all of this. So this is all written over here. So when you have to integrate an expression like this, you must remember what to do, okay? So let me clear this area here. Okay, so when I have to integrate this, I would be writing it as, first of all, this is limit from zero to one. I can shift this up here, x plus one to the power minus two. I can integrate this as it is. We're fine with this. We are fine with this. And this will be written as x plus three to the power minus two, okay? So I'll write it like this, and then I will be integrating it. Okay, so we are ready to integrate this. Hmm. So this is limit from zero to one. This is gonna be x plus one to the power minus one over minus one times x plus one's derivative is one, okay? This is simply ln x plus one. This is simply ln x plus three. And then this one is, x plus three to the power minus one over minus one times one. So this all is integrated. Let me just lead it up. This will be zero to one minus one over x plus one. And this one is minus one over x plus three. We can combine these two using this rule that if you have ln a minus ln b, you can write it as ln a over b. So I'll be writing this as ln x plus three over x plus one. This will reduce my working when I be applying the limits into it. So we can clear all this up, this mess up here, okay? So, yeah. So now let's put the limits in here. This is gonna be minus one over two, minus one over four, plus ln four over two, and then we put zero here. This is minus one, minus one, plus ln three. Okay, so we have this, um, when you simplify this here, this is minus three by four. Okay, this is plus ln two, this one is minus, this is plus two here, and this is minus ln three, okay? So uh, this is four twos are eight, minus is five. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting this as, let me hold on. I spotted the mistake, this had to be, when I put zero here, this has to be minus one over three, okay? Minus one, so this is minus four over three, so this one is gonna be plus four over three here. So this is going to be plus four over. Three. So that was a mistake here. So when you simplify this, the LCM is 12. Okay, this is 16 minus nine is going to be seven over 12. And then minus, uh, this is basically plus ln two over three. And you can write this plus ln two over three as minus ln three over two as well. This is seven over 12 minus ln three over two. So that was the required answer. So I just made a silly mistake here while putting the limits. Otherwise, you know, I had done this correctly. Okay.